Do you want one of those awesome quick and mini Instagram landing pages? Well, you're in luck. There are a few apps right now out on AppSumo and out there also in the world. So the prices vary between free and not so free. And uh, you can get a quick little mini landing page. On AppSumo right now, there's this thing called a uh, contact in bio. It looks all right. It has some cool features, I guess. And if you want to fork up uh, 49 bucks or for the full version with some additional features, at least 98 bucks. So kind of expensive. Or Linktree is free-ish, but then you're stuck with their branding. The thing is you could, all these pages are ridiculously simple. Here's our Instagram landing page. It's got a logo, some quick text, buttons and a footer. That's it. This takes about five, 10 minutes, depending on how much content you want. And it's that simple. So let's jump straight to it. I have here a completely blank, brand new page on our company website. And if you want to set this up, I'm using Elementor here, by the way, on WordPress. And the page layout is an Elementor canvas, which gives me this fully blank page, which is what we want here. And honestly, if from here, it's very, very simple. Um, I'm just going to set the, give the background a color, in this case, our blue and I have all this preset up already because uh, I work on this, page, uh, this website a bunch. And then what do we have? We had logo. Uh, I'm going to not put that in there. And then buttons. So logo, buttons, and then footer, right? So we want our logo. So let me click and drag that in there. I have the white logo because I have a dark background. Uh, so let's see. Let's make this about 200 pixels wide. Uh, let's make it give it some space between the logo and the next button. In my case, the image has some space. Uh, so I'm just putting this in here just to space it out a little bit more. And then a button. And to style it like our brand. So let's see, click here. So uh, what do we have? Um, our services. Our services. Uh, you can put a full link in here. Uh, I'm just going to put our services link. Services. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Center align it. And now give it our colors. So text color, definitely want wide. Background color, what did I have here? Our yellow. Cool. And then and the one thing I wish I had in DV, or not DV, Elementor had, is if we could make the button wider. But that's not a problem because I can do that. Ah. And now, now what, what happens? Because of the way a lot of these landing page things are made, they're made to a width of 860 or 680 pixels wide. So I'm going to go and edit this whole section, which all the content is going to be inside of. 680 pixels wide. And that's it. And now all I have to do is then, uh, let's see, and say portfolio. And to offset, do, 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 portfolio. And to offset these other buttons, I'm going to make these kind of a bit more boring buttons like I had here. So the text was our off gray, I believe. And our background color for this one is white. And that's it. And then I just duplicate this button over and over and over and over again until I need all the buttons. Or I have all the buttons that I need. Be it, So here, uh, as an example, services, portfolio, process, and are all the other brand stuffs. And that's it. And then for adding the footer, just add a text element at the bottom. Legal stuff here. That's it. And, and of course, uh, a style up. And that's all you need. And there is your little page. Uh, this obviously took a little bit longer than it probably should because I'm kind of rushing through this. When you're creating this yourself, know what links you have, and then just toss it up there and, and then now start leading people to this page, whatever your public URL might be. So if I publish this thing and preview it for you guys, it's a very, very simple page. And that's all of the stuff like this link tree stuff is, and this paid stuff here is. I'm not trying to diss it, but here it is. And so now let's uh, see it in the, let me change it to mobile view. There you go. There's our mobile landing page. That's it. Free, quick, and you don't need much to it because these things are simple. If you want more, of course, you can add more. You can add more images. You can add anything that Elementor can help you add or any of the visual tools you have. Uh, you can add those things, uh, videos, dynamic links, dynamic posts, and all those things. You can pull them all in through WordPress and then toss them here into Elementor and show it off. That's it. And you never paid a dime uh, extra for all, all of that. 
So there you go. That's how you create a mini landing page for Instagram in WordPress and Elementor for free. Cheers.